Hey what's going on guys my name's Raf and with the reveal of the new Generation 9 Pokemon Scarlet and Violet anime there's a lot of hype surrounding this new series. With Liko and Roy being introduced as the new protagonists, viewers are starting to speculate if these new kids on the block have any relation to existing characters. Viewers are starting to speculate if these new kids on the block have any relation to existing characters and if they're fit for the job to take over from Ash Ketchum. However, it seems Liko has recently had the spotlight focused on her and there is a possibility that she could be related to the world champion himself. There's a bunch of information to cover, so let's jump straight into it. Don't forget to leave this video a like to show your support, and I'll be sure to bring out my next video shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you're not ready to keep up to date, and without further ado, let's begin. Let's start by discussing what we know so far about the Generation 9 Pokemon Scarlet and Violet anime. At the end of episode 136 of Pokemon Journeys, a new announcement was revealed. A short trailer was broadcast confirming that a new Pokemon anime series will be starting in April 2023, focusing on the Generation 9 Pokemon and region of Paldia. This series is currently named Pocket Monsters 2023. Here's what the official TV Tokyo anime site had to say about the new series. In April 2023, a new dream and adventure set in the entire Pokemon world will begin. In the video that was released to the world for the first time today, a teaser visual was also released, and the new appearance of the two main characters, the girl Liko and the boy Roy. An adventure will unfold with so many Pokemon, including the three Pokemon, Sprigatito, Fue Coco and Quaxley, who have appeared in the Nintendo Switch games Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the latest Pokemon games in the franchise. In addition to this, the appearance of the legendary Pokemon Rayquaza in its shiny different coloration has also been shown. The two new protagonists look great, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how their adventures unfold in the new series. In regards to Liko, it seems that many viewers are starting to theorise that she could be the potential daughter of Ash. Whilst I personally don't think she is related to Ash in any way, today I'm going to analyse some clues and details that could possibly show correlation to Ash and who I truly think she is. Let's explore. Before I begin, the details I'll be discussing are in no particular order. This is just pure speculation. Let's start by analysing Liko's appearance. Immediately, we can gather that she has short black hair with blue strands as well. She has blue eyes and fair skin. When it comes to eyes and hair colour, many believe that Ash had a daughter and some even think that it could have been with one of his previous companions like Dawn or Serena. But personally, I think this is just the standard appearance. And as we all know, there are many characters that share similar eye and hair colourations to one another. So to think these features simply imply that Ash had a daughter with another Pokegirl is a little bit of a stretch in my opinion. But who knows? Now let's take a look at some accessories. The first being the hairpin. Immediately, we can recognise the pin as it shows the same logo as Ash's Pokemon League cap that he wore during the original series. Then we have the necklace, and I think personally that this is a Terra Orb as we can see the resemblance to both. I know some believe this to be a Thunderstone, but I don't think this is the case at all, especially seeing how thin it appears to be. All of these elements are making viewers believe that this character could be related to Ash or even be his daughter. In my opinion, I don't think she's related to Ash at all. I think Liko is someone who was inspired by Ash and wants to be just like him. Think of it like this. Maybe Liko watched the Pokemon World Championships and saw Ash win. Depending on how the broadcast was shown in Paldia, maybe Liko got an introduction to Ash and saw previous images of him during his quest, explaining all of the leagues he participated in, just before being revealed as the Alola Champion and then the World Champion. Another thing to consider is that I believe that the anime series will be in the same universe and timeline as the anime series we know, implying that she just saw Ash win prior to starting her adventure, and that automatically debunks how she's been related. Whilst there are a lot of similar concepts that both trainers do share, I don't think they are related in any way whatsoever. It could be that maybe Liko was another relative from Kanto, hence why she has the pin, or maybe she is someone from Kanto who moved to Paldia for a change of life. There's a lot of different outcomes for this, but in a nutshell, I don't think Liko is related to Ash at all, and seeing as Roy looks like a fresh face too, both of these new main protagonists are most likely just characters from new families with new ambitions. Don't get me wrong, when I first saw Liko, I suspected that she did have some possible relation to Ash, but after doing some more research, it seems that she's just a new character ready to embark in the world of Pokemon. But wanna let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys would like to interact with me, then be sure to follow me on Twitter, and join the Team Pokerf Discord server to discuss all things Pokemon. You can find the rest of my social networks on screen and in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like, as your support is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. Finally, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with my videos, and click on the little bell to enable notifications, so you guys get notified when I upload a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and be sure to stick around for more Pokemon content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.